It's time for your favorite weekly mathematics quiz competition, Cowbell PD. Thank you. If I was to begin my studies again, I will take the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. I, I didn't say that. It was actually the father of science that said that, Galileo Galilei. And his belief, like many others, is that there's absolutely nothing that does not involve maths, be it the shape of your TV set, or the numbers of cups of milk you did or did not take today, or even just walking down the road. There's maths in everything we do. There's even maths in the number of contestants today that will move on to the semi-final. And that's an easy one. What's that number? Four. What's that number? Four. Absolutely. Four contestants out of our 12 mathematical gurus will be moving on to the semi-final. This is Cabalpida and you're welcome to the sixth prelim episode where we're on the search to discover, celebrate and nurture the next generation of inventors. It's been quite a journey. 108 contestants have made it to phase two of this competition out of over 47,000 students who took part in the written exam conducted by NECO. I am Oscar, your quiz master, and of course, we are welcoming you. I'm talking about Promasador, the makers of Cowbell Our Milk, and Cowbell Our Milk has been exceptional and phenomenal in supporting this particular cause. Let's give a round of applause to Promasador. And of course, to each and every one of you out there, your tweets, your retweets, your YouTube views, all the hits we've been getting on our social media has been quite encouraging and impressive. And we say a big thank you to you. Don't forget that Cowbellpedia is endorsed by Neko. We'll be back after the break to give you the list of our Cowbellpedia best 11 and meet our 12 contestants on this show today. Stick around. <laughs> Instantly dissolving cowbell milk is both delicious and nutritious. It promotes good health and vitality. Cowbell milk has a blend of the important vitamins which we call Vita-Rich. A, C, D, E and K. Plus vitamin B9, which helps with brain development. We've also got a deliciously creamy new formula that dissolves instantly. Cowbell, now deliciously creamy. Okay. Welcome back. Now, we at Cowbellpedia believe that this competition is not necessarily about the one million naira cash prize for our champions this year, or the bragging rights for the year, or the 400,000 naira for the teachers of the winners, or even the educational excursion out of the country. It's more about discovering the next generation of inventors. And we believe that the inventors are here in the studio, in the students, even at home. Every single person has the potential to be the next inventor. And judging by the answers and responses we've been getting from our home play, I think we have more inventors out there than in here. Make sure you download your Cowbellpedia app from your Google Play Store on all Android devices. This will give you the opportunity to keep practicing. And we've been monitoring the scoreboard and we've been getting some very impressive scores. Now, if you're in the top half of the scoreboard and your scores are impressive enough, you just might find yourself on this stage with me, the quiz master, this season. So keep playing and keep practicing. To students out there who want to be part of Cowbellpedia, stick around, I'll give you some more information on that. But first things first, if you just join us for the very first time, 
you've missed about five prelims, but not to worry. We have nine prelims in total, with each prelim producing the best two candidates that will move on to the semi-final. The 18 semi-finalists in the junior and senior category will then be shortlisted to six for the final. That's the best two from each of those semi-finals in the junior and senior category. At the final, our math gurus will have the chance to slug it out for the ultimate bragging rights and crown of Cowboypedia Junior and Cowboypedia Senior Mathematics Champion. Now I can tell you for free that it's been quite a journey for our students. They've been through a lot, but there's still a lot to go. And they have shown exceptional speed, accuracy, intellect, and the ability that can only be born out of true inventors. We'll hit you with our first six candidates in the junior category who are ready to do battle. All that and much more will be back after the break. Stick around on Cowbellpedia. The new Cowbell Choco formula has been stolen. Get it back at all costs. Tasting new Carbell Choco gives you the get up and go to be at the top of your game. Now with Vitarich Plus Iron. New great tasting Carbell Choco, a creamy chocolatey drink that helps give energy to get up and go. On a 50 kilometer road, a driver spends less time by increasing the speed of his car. What kind of variation exists between the car speed and the time taken? A. Inverse variation B. Direct variation C. Joint variation and D. Partial variation Be part of the Cowbellpedia Best 11. Type SC space your name space location space your answer to 33121 for a chance to win fabulous prizes for the week. Welcome back to the number one mathematics quiz competition for secondary school students in Nigeria and Africa, we believe. Now, if you've missed out on any of the previous prelims, feel free to visit www.cowbellpedia.ng and we'll give you an update. Or you can just check out YouTube, Cowbellpedia TV, and watch any of the previous episodes so you're up to speed. We have six math gurus on standby, six in the junior and six in the senior category. Now, these are part of the 108 that will take part in nine prelims in the junior and senior category. Now, these six contestants are ready. But before I let them in on how they're going to win the ultimate prize, let's take a few minutes to get to know more about them. My name is Ali Lionel Daniel from NYC Schools, Burning Kebi Kebi State. How are you doing, Daniel? Fine. How do you feel being here on the stage on Cowboypedia? I feel like I can make it. I feel like I make, make it to the final. Fantastic. So how do you practice your maths? I get textbooks and get exercises and practice. A round of applause to Daniel. <laughs> Our next contestant? Austin Jessica from Federal Government Girls College, Owerri, Imo State. Great to have you on board, Jessica. What do you do outside mathematics that people don't know about? Love dancing. You love dancing? Ha! And I don't have my music player here. What type of dancing? Street dancing? Hip hop? While she's dancing her way to victory, let's give her a round of applause. Welcome, Jessica. <laughs> Our second female contestant. My name is Erebe Tiffany from Gracie High School, Asaba Delta State. How are you doing, Tiffany? Great to have you on Cowboypedia. Have you heard about Cowboypedia before today? Yes, sir. How did you hear about it? To my teachers. Oh, your teachers, okay. What did they tell you? They told me about the qualifying exam and... Okay, qualify. they didn't tell you about the money. So if you win the money, you won't take it. I'll take it. you take it? Why? You don't need money. What do you need money for? Save up for my university. University? 
Okay, what university is that? I'm planning on going to Cambridge. Cambridge, fantastic. I wish you all the best, Tiffany. Welcome to Cabopedia. Nankling Andrew from Baptist High School, Jaws, Plato State. Nankling, that is a very interesting name. Where are you from? Plato State. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 13. 13? Wow. So how long have you been solving maths? Nursery school. Nursery school. Is that even possible? Yes. It, what was your maths question in nursery school? Um, to say 1 to 10. 1 to 10. Okay, that's simple enough. I think we all did that. Welcome, Nankling. Looking forward to everything you have to display on Cabalpedia. Round of applause to Nankling. Our next contestant in the junior category. My name is Balong Dennis from Grand Tomorrow International College, Arugida, Koko, Ndo State. Ha! Ah, Dennis, that's a long name. Will you use all your one million naira if you win to buy the car? I'll put it in a fixed deposit account and save it for future. Sure. Dennis, I wish you all the best as you drive all the way through to the final. Round of applause to Dennis. My name is Angelica Uzo from Loyola Jesu College, Abuja. How are you doing, Angelica? Fine, thank you. Loyola Jesu. You guys won last year, or your school won last year? Yes. That would be Munachi. Okay, do you know him? Yes, I do. How well do you know him? He's in the same house as me. Same house? What house is that? Regis House. He won, and you're here this year. Is there a lot of pressure on you from your parents, from your teachers? They just told me to do the best I can. I wish you all the best. Try to have as much fun as you can. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause to Angelica. This is the prelim. We have two rounds. Round one is a series of objective questions, 12 to be precise. At the end of round one, the best three candidates will move on to round two, which is the Cowboypedia 60 Seconds of Fame, where we're going to give you 60 seconds to give as many correct answers as possible. At the end of round one and round two, the two students with the highest scores will move on to the semi-final. Do you understand these rules? Yes, please, Master. Are you ready for round one? Yes, yes please, Master. Master. Round one starts now, solve the equation 1 over 30 is equal to 1 over 6x. A, 5, B, 4, C, 6, and D, 3. Fantastic, you all got it right. The correct answer is A. Well done. <laughs> Let's move on to question number 2. Simplify 2x over 5 all raised to power 2. A, 4x over 5, B, 4 over 25, 4x squared over 25, and D, 2x squared over 25. You have five seconds to put in your answer. After that, the computer will lock you out. Well done again. I think you guys understand this rule very well. <laughs> Correct answer is C, 4x squared over 25. Question number three, simplify p plus q all squared minus 2pq. A, p squared minus 2q, B, p squared plus q squared, C, p squared minus 2pq, and p squared plus 2qp. <laughs> Tiffany and Nan Kling, did you put your answer in in time? Okay, I just wanted to make sure every other person got it right. The correct answer is B, P squared plus Q squared. Make sure the computer knows you know the answer. It's one thing to know it, it's another thing to get your answer in time. Moving on to question four, you're all doing so well. Solve the equation five bracket X minus two is equal to three bracket two plus X. Option A is eight, six, seven, and option D is nine. The correct answer is A, that is eight. Moving on to question number five. Kunle is P years old now. What was his age nine years ago? A, P minus nine, B, nine P, nine minus P, or D, nine over P years? Fantastic, correct answer is A, P minus nine years. You all got it right. Moving on to question number six. We're halfway through round one. Find the factors of x squared minus 5x plus 6. A, x minus 2, x minus 3, x plus 2, x minus 3, x plus 2, x plus 3, or D, x minus 2, x plus 3.
Well done. We end the first half of round one on a good note. You all got it right. The correct answer is A, X minus two, X minus three. Round of applause to them, guys. <laughs> Nankling, what do you and your dad do for fun at home? Just talk. Talk or about what? Go out. Okay, so if you should win your cash prize, you take him out to an eatery or something. <laughs> yes. Tiffany, how you doing? You good? Where do you like going out to to relax? I don't really have a special place for relaxing. Okay, make sure you find one. Have you made any friends since you've been here on Carbopedia? Yes. Who's your best friend so far? Lucas. Did she make it through to the semi-final? No. Oh, what a shame. But that doesn't stop you from being friends again. And talking about making friends to our viewers out there, thank you again. Don't forget to download the Cowbellpedia app from your Google Play Store on all Android devices and get practicing. The scoreboard is very competitive now. Make sure you get on top of that. We'll be back round one. Six more questions. It's the sixth prelim of 2016 Cowbellpedia. Stick around. For decades, mathematics has been the bedrock of the world's greatest innovations. We believe that we too can set indelible footprints in the sands of technology if we invest in our children and in their future, knowing fully well that from amongst them can come the next best innovators. Tomorrow's Einstein, Maria Mayers, Ayodele Awujobi, Philip Emeagwani. Yes. We have a dream that our children can be great. Since 2001, Cowbell has been on the front line promoting mathematics as a means to empowering young people and nourishing their dreams, harnessing their potential, irrespective of their background or ethnicity. Yes, we believe in our children, in their greatness, in what they can be. Reach for the stars with Nourishing Cowbell. Cowbell. Welcome back. Three of our candidates are in the lead, neck to neck. But the next six questions will determine who stays behind and who moves on to round two. Well done to all six of you. Let's move on to question number seven. Which of the following is a perfect square? Eight, 10, 16, or 24? Guess that was an easy question. Correct answer is C, 16. Question number eight. Simplify three times 10 raised to the power minus six times four times 10 raised to the power seven. A, 12 times 10 raised to the power seven, 12 times 10 raised to the power six, 12 times 10 raised to the power minus one, and D, 12 times 10 raised to the power one. The correct answer is D, 12 times 10 raised to the power one. We had one incorrect entry. Tiffany, not to worry. We still have some more questions to go. You're all doing so well so far. Divide 10 raised to the power 5 by 10 raised to the power minus 2. A, 10 raised to the power 7. B, 10 raised to the power 3. C, 10 raised to the power minus 3. And D, 10 raised to the power minus 7. Correct answer is A, 10 raised to power 7. Question number 10. The following are prime numbers, except A, 2, B, 3, C, 5, and D, 6. The correct answer is D, that's six. Well done to each and every one of you, you got that right. Encourage them now, it's not easy. <laughs> the next two questions are very important, so make sure you get as many as you can. Let's move on to question number 11. Express 56 in Roman numerals, LVI, DVI, DIV, and LIV. The correct answer is A, L, V, I. Well done to all of you again. You all got it right. The final question for round one. Find the HCF of 45, 60, and 90. A, 3, B, 15, C, 5, and D, 45. The correct answer is B, 15. 
Daniel, you didn't get your score in in time or your answer in in time. You okay? How do you feel? Good. You're good? You did very well. All of you did very well. Well done. Angelica, how are you feeling at the end of this round? It was good. It was good? Yes. How good do you think you performed? Well, I already saw my score. <laughs> well, let's see the scores of others and find out who will be moving on to round two and who will be going home from here. We have two of you who clearly have moved on to round two. And then we have a tie, three of you on 55 points. Jessica and Angelica, well done to both of you. You're on 60 points. You've made it to round two. A round of applause to them. <laughs> Jessica and Angelica, I'll need you to excuse us so we can determine who will join you in round two. Thank you very much. One of you four is on 45 points, the remaining three are on 55 points. Unfortunately, the journey ends for one of you. Your average response time was 0.92 seconds, which is quite fast. Unfortunately, you didn't have enough points to take you to round two. Tiffany Erebe, thank you very much for coming this far. I wish you all the best on behalf of Carbopedia, your school, your parents, everybody here is very proud of you. Well done. Daniel, Dennis, and Nan Kling. This is what you call a tie break. And we need to break this tie. You're all on 55 points. The rules for the tie break in round one is that I'll ask you a set of three questions and I'm looking for the most correct answers in the quickest average time. So you might all even get the answers right, but we're looking for the fastest time. Do you understand these rules? Yes, excuse me, Master. Master. I wish you all the best. Let's play round one tie break. A donkey travels D kilometers at an average of speed of U kilometers per hour. How long does it take? A, U over D hours, D over U hours, U hours, or D hours? The correct answer is B, D over U hours. Daniel and Dennis got it right. Nankling, not to worry. We still have two more questions. Question number two. Find the value of K raised to power 3, Y raised to power 2, when K is minus 2 and Y is minus 1. A minus 6, B 8, C minus 8, and D 12. The correct answer is C minus 8. Well done to Lang Kling, who bounced back. You're the only one that got this right. Moving on to question number 3. Given P is equals to N plus 2 over D, make N the subject of the formula. A, N is equals to P D over 2, P plus 2 over D, 2 minus P D, or D, P D minus 2. Well done to all three of you. You got this particular question right, but let's see if it's enough to get you into round two. The correct answer is D, N is equal to P, D minus two. Based on the number of questions answered, these are the times we have. Dennis, two points. Your average response time, 1.27 seconds. You all scored two points, actually, but Nankling and Daniel, unfortunately, your average times are not fast enough. Well done to both of you for making it this far. Really proud of you. Wish you all the best. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause to Nan Kling and Daniel. Instantly dissolving cowbell milk is both delicious and nutritious. It promotes good health and vitality. Cowbell milk has a blend of the important vitamins which we call Vita-Rich. A, C, D, E and K. Plus vitamin B9, which helps with brain development. We've also got a deliciously creamy new formula that dissolves instantly. Cowbell, now deliciously creamy. Well done to Dennis, Jessica, Angelica. You are on to round two. Dennis, you're on 55 points, Angelica 60 points, and Jessica 60 points. Now this next round will be very key to determine who stays and who goes home. 
All right, whatever you scored in the tie break will not be added to your final score. This is what we call our Cowbellpedia 60 Seconds of Fame. You're gonna have 60 seconds to give me as many correct answers as possible in 60 seconds. We're going to play in this order. First up is Jessica, followed by Angelica, followed by Dennis. J Jessica, are you ready? Yes, Miss Master. I wish you all the best. Your Cowbellpedia 60 Seconds of Fame starts now. If x plus 9 is equal to 14, what is five. the value of correct? Solve for 5 minus 5c is equal to Eight. minus 40. Correct. Find the coefficient of y squared in the expansion of y minus 5. Four. 3. Correct. If x raised to the power 3 is equal to 12, then x raised to the power 6 is? Skip. Find the HCF of 8a raised to the power 3 and 6a squared b. 2a. Incorrect. Factorize x squared, x squared minus 8x plus 15. x minus 5, x minus 3. Correct. Simplify the expression minus 2.7 raised to the power 0. Minus 2.7. Incorrect. What is the sum of x, x, y, z, and x? 3x plus y plus z. Correct. There are 40 students in a class. 15 went for a break and M went for practicals. How many students are left in the class? None. Incorrect. Simplify the expression 2g minus g minus 4. G minus 4. Incorrect. G plus 4. Incorrect. Simplify 2 over y minus 4a over y. Negative 2 over y. Incorrect. The sum of two numbers is 10 and their product is 24. Find the numbers. 6 and 4. Correct. Well done, Jessica. Angelica. Yes, Mr. Your Cowboypedia 60 seconds of fame starts now. What is the additive inverse of 100? Minus 108F. Correct. Solve 2 over r is equal to 1 over 10. 5. Correct. Simplify x equals to y raised to the power 7. Y raised to the power 1. Correct. Find the LCM of 4y and 3z. 12, 12yz. Correct. Solve x over 4 is equal to 1 over 2. 2. Correct. Simplify x raised to the power 3, y raised to the power 4, divided by Skip. x. Skip. Find the HCF of 12a and 8b. 4. Correct. Divide 4pqr by 2pr. 2R, 2, 2Q of uh, 1. I, I'm going to take your first answer incorrect. Moving on to the next question. Simplify x squared plus Skip. x. Given the equation y is equal to 2x plus 1, find y when x is 1. 3. Correct. Expand a plus b all raised to power 2. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Correct. AZ earns 1,000 naira every month. Each month he spends 7x on food, 5x naira on transport. And skip, skip, skip. Well done, Angelica. Moving on to our final contestant, Dennis, I wish you all the best. Your cowboy Pedia, 60 seconds of fame starts now. Find x in the equation, x over two is equal to six over four. Three. Correct, solve 63 is equal to... Correct. Ego weighs eight x kilograms. He starts dieting and... Four, loses. five. Correct. Simplify 16b divided by minus four. Minus four b. Correct. Simplify k... K is Incorrect. A woman has 8x boilers and 12 layers. If she sells 3x boilers and 7y layers... 3x boiler and 5y layers. Incorrect. What is LXIV in Arabic numeral? Sit 4. Correct. Find the discount of 15% discount is given to a product Skip. that costs... Wow. Decrease 70 meters by 20%. 70. Incorrect. A woman gave one quarter of a cake to her husband and Half. another... Correct. Subtract 0 0.25 from minus 0 0.75. Minus 1. Correct. Simplify 1 over 3 of 1, 1 over 8. Skip. What is 4 over one. 7? Correct. Find the HCF of 9 and 12. Three. Correct. Evaluate 11 over 16 times 8 over 11. Half. Correct. Express 506 cover in 9. 5 nera, 6 cover. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Angelica, Jessica, Dennis. Dennis is the last man standing, so to speak. We have three scores here. One of our female contestants, the journey ends here. And that person is Jessica. Well done, Jessica, you've done very well. You're very close, well done. Well done to Dennis, well done to Angelica. You've done exceptionally well. We'll be back after the break to meet our six senior contestants who are vying for the two spots in the semi-final. For those of you at home, especially if you're students, wondering how can you be part of Cabopedia, 
Get your teacher or your principal to visit www.cabelpedia.ng to register your school and find out if you can be here as well. We had over 9,000 schools register this year alone, and I'm sure it's going to be more next year. And each school is entitled to five representatives in the junior and senior category. So if you're good enough in your school, you just might be here on the stage with me next season. We'll be back after the break. It's the number one mathematics quiz show for secondary school students. It's the 2016 edition of Cowbellpedia. Choco formula has been stolen. Get it back at all costs. Tasting new Carbell Choco gives you the get up and go to be at the top of your game. Now with Vitorich Plus Iron. New great tasting Carbell Choco, a creamy chocolatey drink that helps give energy to get up and go. Welcome back to Cowbellpedia. Congratulations to Dennis and Angelica, our two junior semi-finalists. But we need two more from the senior category and they are on standby. But before we move on, for those of you at home, yes, I know you have been shouting for this. I can even hear you scream. Here's the home play question for this week. On a 50 kilometer road, a driver spends less time by increasing the speed of his car. What kind of variation exists between the car speed and the time taken? A. Inverse variation B. Direct variation C. Joint variation and D. Partial variation Be part of the Cowbellpedia Best 11. Type SC space your name space location space your answer to 33121 for a chance to win fabulous prizes for the week. I wish you all the best and find out next week if you're part of the Cowbellpedia Best 11. 54 in the junior and 54 in the senior make up the 108 and six out of the 54 in the senior are here to battle it out and take the next step towards becoming the undisputed mathematical champion 2016. Let's take the next couple of minutes to find out who our contestants are and what makes them tick. My name is Mahmoud Lawal. I'm from LJC FCT. Great to have you, Mahmoud. You have a very deep voice. Thank you. Who has a deep voice like that in your family? My father. Your father. What does he do for a living? He's a banker. Banker? Yes. Well, I'm guessing banking involves numbers. Is he the one that introduced you to maths? Not really, no. Who introduced you to maths? It kind of came from my mom's side more. Why is that? My grandfather was a very good mathematician. Ah, nice. Wish you all the best. I hope you make your grandfather, your father, and your mother proud. A round of applause to Mahmoud. <laughs> Our next contestant. My name is Pagbe Mtenifa Oluwashewun, and I'm from Orita Mefa Baptist Memorial School, Ringo de Badon, Oya State. Hey, that's a long name. <laughs> Oluwashewun, thank God for you. Great to have you on Kabalpedia. How do you feel being here on this stage? I feel excited. Who do you think at home will be supporting you the most? The my teacher? parents, my parents. parents. What's the best advice they've given you? Well, I should be calm and I should stay focused. Well done. Calm, focused, very good advice. A round of applause for Luasha. <laughs> Next contestant. My name is Muktarsan Adam from Government Science Secondary School, Kaita, Kapuna State. Great to have you on board, Sani. How old are you? Um, 18. Uh, are you sure? Yes. If I was to buy you something for your birthday, what would you want to have? Scholarship. Aha. Uh -huh. Where do you want to go to? Uh... While you're thinking about that, let's give Sunny a round of applause to welcome him. <laughs> Our next contestant. My name is Wanji Akuchismak from DS Technical High School, Omiyala, Delta State. Cheers, Mark from Delta State. Welcome to Cowbellpedia. How is Delta State doing? 
It's all right, it's fine. You only school there or you live there as well? Two of them. You live there? Yeah. When you're not solving math questions, what are you doing? Sleeping, reading <laughs> books. <laughs> yes. Sleeping and reading books. Well, I hope that helps you out on Cabopedia. Cheers, Mike. Welcome and wish you all the best. A round of applause to Cheers, Mike. <laughs> and our contestant is? My name is Abdul Malik Lawal from Caliphate International School, Gusos and Father State. Welcome, Lawal. Great to have you on board. What's the one thing you've always wanted most in your life? To be the next inventor. To be the next inventor. Yeah. I wish you all the best on that journey, and I hope your dream comes true. A round of applause to Lawal. <laughs> and our final senior contestant. My name is Ebo Kenichufu from Marysboro's Junior Ritz, Uturu, Abia State. Great to have you on board, Ebo. What's the full meaning of your name? Um, it's just, it's our dialect, not a general Igbo language. Okay, what dialect is that? Uh, from Okan side of Enugu State. Do you speak it well? Uh, somehow, in a way. Igbo, welcome to Carpelpedia. <laughs> and there we have our six contestants, but only two will move on to the semi-final. They have gotten this far, but do they have what it takes to move beyond this particular round? I wish you all the best. Are you ready for round one? Yes, yes please, Master. Round one starts now. A denary number is in base A, 10, B, 5, 3 or D2? The correct answer is A, 10. We had four correct answers, two incorrect. Mukta, uh, Sani and Lawal, not to worry. You can still make up. Moving ahead. Going on to question number two. The scale of a map is 1.5 centimeters to 2 kilometers. What is the distance of point A to B, 40 kilometers apart on the map in centimeters? A, 26, B, 30, C, 60, and D, 120. The correct answer is B, 30. And from my screen, I find that three of you didn't put your answer in time. Hmm? Please make sure the computer knows you know the answers. Let's move on to question number three. Simplify two bracket two over three plus one over two minus one over three minus one over two. A, one over three, B, two over three, C, one over two, and D, one. Make sure you put in your answer before the time is up. The correct answer is B, two over three. Question number four. What is or are the signs of a negative number raised to an odd number? A, both negative and positive, negative or positive, positive and D, negative. The correct answer is D, negative. Moving on to question number five. Evaluate 1.69 times 0 0.01 to two significant figures. A, 0, 0.0, B, 0 0.02. C, 0 0.0169, and D, 0 0.0017. The correct answer is D, 0 0.0017. Oluwashen, well done to you. You are the only correct one who got it. Well done, well done. Moving on to question six. Like I always say, it's not how you start, but how you finish. The game is still on. Find the value of 2, brackets 2 raised to power 2 over 3, all raised to power 3. A, 8, B, 2 raised to power 11 over 9, C, 2, and D, 4. The correct answer is A, 8. Mahmoud, when things are not going your way, what do you tell yourself? Move on. Mm. Move on. Move on indeed. Correct answer is A8. We had two correct answers. We'll be back after the break to answer the remaining six questions. It's round one in the senior category, the sixth prelim of Cabopedia. And don't forget to download the Cabopedia app from your Google Play Store on all Android devices. Practice, they say, makes perfection. So get practicing. Stick around. Instantly dissolving cowbell milk is both delicious and nutritious. It promotes good health and vitality. 
Cowbell milk has a blend of the important vitamins which we call Vita Rich. A, C, D, E and K. Plus vitamin B9, which helps with brain development. We've also got a deliciously creamy new formula that dissolves instantly. Cowbell, now deliciously creamy. Welcome back. Six questions down. We have one contestant who's clearly in the lead. The next six questions will mean a lot to some other contestants if they want to make it to round two. Well done to all six of you. Let's move on to question number seven. Given that A is equal to minus eight and B is equal to minus two, find the value of A minus B. A, five, B, six, C minus six, and D minus ten. The correct answer is C minus six. We had five correct, one incorrect. Let's move on to question number eight. If X varies over the set of real numbers, which of the following is represented by the set minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three? A, minus two is less than or equal to X, less than or equal to three. Minus two is less than X, X is less than three. Two is less than X, X is less than three. Or minus two is less than X, X is less than or equal to three. The correct answer is A, minus two is less than or equal to X, less than or equal to three. Moving on to question number nine. The probabilities of Moses and Ima solving a mathematical problem correctly are two over seven and three over five respectively. What is the probability that both of them will not solve it correctly? A, one over two, two over seven, one over three, and D, five over four. Well done to each and every one of you. The correct answer is B, two over seven. Well done. <laughs> Question number 10. If X is four, Y is five, and Z is minus six, evaluate X, Y, Z. A, 240, minus 120, three, and D, 120. Again, well done to all of you. The correct answer is B, minus 120. <laughs> Question 11. Which of the following represents the set? Minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. A, 0 is greater than x. x is less than minus 7. Minus 7 is less than or equal to x. is less than or equal to minus 2. Minus 7 is less than x, and x is less than or equal to minus 2. Or D, minus 7 is less than x, and x is less than or equal to minus 1. Five seconds to put in your answer. Speed and accuracy count in round two. And you all have displayed that so far. Correct answer is D, minus seven is less than X. Less than or equal to minus one. Question 12. This is a deciding question for a number of you. It's literally the difference between staying behind or going home. Question number 12. Which of the following is an open statement? A, N is an even number. 12 is an even number. The Niger River is a famous European river, and D, chemistry is a science subject. The correct answer is A, N is an even number. Mahmoud said, when things are not going your way, you just move on. Egbo, what do you do when things are not going your way? You keep going. You keep going? Oluwashen, what about you? striving hard. <laughs> Let's find out who will be moving on to round two, who will be taking part in our Capopedia 60 Seconds of Fame. Four of you got the answer right, two incorrect. But let's see what the final scoreboard is. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Sunny, Chismag, and Lawal. Well done to all three of you. You can see your scores and you can also see your average response time. You've done extremely, exceptionally well. And this is the beginning. We believe very much in you being the next generation of inventors. A round of applause to them, ladies and gentlemen. Egbo, Oluwashon, 
and Mahmoud. Congratulations to all three of you. Speed is very key in this next round. I wish you all the best in the second round. Your Cowboy PDF 60 Seconds of Fame starts in this round, and we're going to answer the question in this order. Oluwashem followed by Mahmoud Lawa, followed by Kenny Chuku. But that will happen after the break. Don't forget to download the Carbopedia app via your Google Play Store on all Android devices. Get practicing and get winning. We'll be back after the break to find out which two will be moving on to the semi-final to join Dennis and Angelica from the junior category. Stick around. For decades, mathematics has been the bedrock of the world's greatest innovations. We believe that we too can set indelible footprints in the sands of technology if we invest in our children and in their future, knowing fully well that from amongst them can come the next best innovators. Tomorrow's Einstein, Maria Mayers, Ayodele Awujobi, Philip Emeagwani. Yes. We have a dream that our children can be great. Since 2001, Cowbell has been on the front line promoting mathematics as a means to empowering young people and nourishing their dreams, harnessing their potential, irrespective of their background or ethnicity. Yes, we believe in our children, in their greatness, in what they can be. Reach for the stars with Nourishing Cowbell. Cowbell. Welcome back to Cowbellpedia. For those of you out there, we've gotten a couple of requests from parents, from students, who want to be part of Cowbellpedia all year round. There's the Cowbellpedia radio show, which is airing on select stations across Nigeria. Visit www.cowbellpedia.ng to find out which station and what time it's airing in your state. It airs between 6.15 and 7.30 a.m. across all the stations in Nigeria. Wish you all the best. Fun and excitement also awaits you there as well. Back to round two, our three contestants who are vying for two spots in the semi-final. Oluwa Shion, Fagwemi, Mahmoud Lawal, and Kenichuku Egbo. Well done to all three of you. This is your Cowboy Peter, 60 seconds of fame. Oluwa Shion, you're on 60 points. You're leading the pack. Wish you all the best. Are you ready for your Cowboy Peter, 60 seconds of fame? Yes, please, master. Your Cowboy Peter, 60 seconds of fame starts now. Find the value of x for which the expression 2x squared plus 5 divided by 2x minus 1 is undefined. F. Correct. Factorize y squared minus 16. Y minus 4y plus 4. Correct. If 5a over 8 is 2 over 5a, what is a raised to power 2? 16 over 25. Correct. The product of two numbers is 10. If one of them is 2 over 5, what is the other? Fifteen over no. Wait, two. Incorrect. Let's move on to the next question. If three raised to the power x minus y is equal to nine, what is y minus x? Skip. What is the smallest value of a if two a plus four over three is greater than or equal to a minus three over three? Minus seven. Correct. Solve the inequality. Three x minus five is greater than minus two. X is greater than three. Incorrect. <laughs> well done, Olua Shown. Mahmoud, are you ready for your Cabopedia 60 seconds of fame? Yes, Cruz Master. I wish you all the best. You're on 55 points. Your Cabopedia 60 seconds of fame starts now. Factorize X squared minus four times four. X minus two all squared. Correct. If x is 2 over 3, find 1 over x squared. 9 over 4. Correct. If x varies directly as the root of g and x is 3 while g is 9, what is the value of the constant of the variation? 1. Correct. If 4 is less than a number equals minus 2, what is the number? 2. Correct. The sum of ages of two boys is 47. What was the sum five years ago? 42. Incorrect. Solve the equation, 3 over x plus 3 is equal to 3 over 2x plus minus 1. 
x is equal to minus 2. Incorrect. Solve the inequality. 3 minus 2 multiply... 3, 3 minus 2x is less than 13. x is less than minus 5. Incorrect. What is the gradient of the line 2y is equal to 3 minus 2x? Minus 2x. 1. Correct. If 1 over 9 raised by n is equal to 3 raised by minus 2, what is n? 1. Correct. Solve the inequality. 5x minus 3 is less than 6x plus 5. x is greater than minus 8. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Do that again. Do what you just did again. Well done, Mahmoud. Egbo, wish you all the best. Your Carbopedia 60 Seconds of Fame starts now. Factorize A squared plus 2A plus 1. A plus 1 into A plus 1. Correct. The gradient of a quadratic equation at a turning point is? Zero. Correct. If 4ABC four A, four is equal to 48 and AB6, then C is? Two. Correct. Solve the inequality 2X plus 1 is greater than 5. X is greater than 2. Correct. State the range of values of X satisfying the inequality X to 3 border is less than 3. X is less than 6 or X is greater than 6, greater than minus 6. Incorrect. If the sum of angles on a straight line is 4 times 40 degrees, what is X? 35 degrees. Correct. The square root of root 64 is? 64. Correct. State the range of values of x satisfying the inequality 2x is less than minus 0. x is less than minus 0 0.25. Correct. For what value of c will x Four. squared? Correct. A number is base 2 is binary. Called. Correct. State the range of values of x satisfying the inequality. Skip. Well done to all three of you. Did exceptionally well. And like I mentioned earlier on, it's not how you start, but how you finish. Mahmoud, how do you feel? OK. You're on 55 points at the beginning of this round. So were you able, although I've shown you on 60 points. Do you feel you maintain the lead? I should. <laughs> you should. What do you think you could have done better in round two? Well, I should have skipped questions I didn't know on time. Very good advice to yourself. If you don't know it, just skip it. Unfortunately, the semi-finalist from this round will be a male affair because Oluwashel, this is where your journey ends on Calbellpedia. You've done exceptionally well. You've displayed such great skill and accuracy. We wish you all the best. A round of applause to Oluwashel. <laughs> Igbo and Mahmoud. Well done to both of you. Mahmoud, how do you feel now? <laughs> I think that says it all. <laughs> what about you, Ego? I feel good. You better feel good. The journey is still very tough ahead. The semi-finals, you've made it. But then again, we're going to take it a step further. So go and get practicing. And well done to both of you. To all our contestants who have made it this far, well done to each and every one of you. It's been quite a journey. Started off with 12 contestants, four have made it to the semi-final. The seventh prelim is on the next episode, and I urge you to join me on that as well. On behalf of the whole Cowboypedia team, join us same time next week, same time, same station. I am Oscar, your quiz master. Bye for now. <laughs>